All right, good evening, Cleveland. Are you excited? Yeah. This is the greatest country in the history of the world, am I right? USA. Let's get some freedom, all right? I'm really proud to be on this stage tonight here with other dedicated service people, including Senator Ernst, Representative Zinke, and all the rest of the men and women. As an elite soldier, I operated at times as the only American in the midst of our enemies. Still, no matter how dangerous the mission, I never lost my conviction that America was the world's best hope for good. That's right, USA. This same conviction can sustain the nation when we find ourselves imperiled. And this is such a time. From 9-11 to Russian aggression to a belligerent China and to the evil of the Islamic State, we face unparalleled threats. But we stand here tonight on the shoulders of giants and legends who gave us this American Republic and when we think of those who pioneered this country with courage and honor through a bloody revolution and those who gave their lives for the cause of freedom around the world, today, at this crucial point in our history, can we summon the spirit that forged our nation and bound us together under principles of liberty and justice for all. The USA. It's time for us once again to choose freedom over tyranny. Over the last eight years, the US has traded her role of active leadership for that of a passive observer. Americans have been told that the U.S. has not always been a force for good and that since we've made mistakes, we should forfeit our leadership or, God forbid, we should lead from behind. That thinking has endangered not just the U.S., but freedom across the world. And those results fall squarely on the shoulders of our current administration supported by Hillary Clinton. Her leadership was absent as U.S. Marines were forced to smash their weapons while bureaucrats abandoned our embassy in Yemen. And it was absent as our enemies overran another consulate and killed four of our Americans in Benghazi. Lock her up. This so-called leadership thanked our enemies in Iran while sailors were on their knees. It's time we put someone into office who holds the same convictions that we hold, the same convictions that my fellow warriors and I hold, and the same convictions that my friends bled or died for. And as service members, we live by these convictions. USA. USA, get fired up. Imagine a country where our president shares those convictions and upholds the honor of our military. A president who knows our past and defends our liberty. With that kind of leadership, we will go over the top and into the teeth of this 21st century. In Donald Trump's America, we will have that leadership. God bless America. And in Donald Trump's America, the only time 
service members will get on their knees will be to thank their God that they are Americans. God bless you, thank you, and God bless America.